If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Sorry, we're just doing the uh, new player picks. Uh, we were actually getting some pretty crazy stuff for people, honestly. It was actually kind of nuts, but... Uh, yeah, today we have the new Makalele SBC to check out. Uh, this guy is a fan favorite over here. He's one of my favorite players when I was younger. Top three. It was Quadejma, Ronaldinho, and Makalele, if you guys didn't know. And uh, this card looks like it could be pretty It could be pretty cool, to be honest. Um, the main capabilities of this card is obviously going to be seeing some defensive stuff, right? So I might have to do like two or three different accounts for this, for the loans and stuff, just to play the game normally but test them out in the defensive situations, you know? Uh, play styles. This card has all of the play styles except for Jockey, but he's working with a Bruiser Plus while also working with a Quick Step Plus. Now, I'm going to be honest. Quick Step Plus could make him a transitioning monster, right? Uh, with Bruiser especially. So Quick Step Plus initial into a Bruiser afterwards could be kind of nuts for him, you know? Uh, physical stats is already in a good area. EA did format this card uh, to be given a Shadow Chemistry style, right? The Shadow Chemistry style is going to put his pace at a 95-92 with defensive stats higher. This card has no shooting capabilities, but that's not going to be the purpose of him. And the purpose of him is going to be to use him in a CDM position, maybe like a 4-2-3-1 or something, and see what he's like playing as your main focal point when it comes to defending in the midfield setup, right? Um, passing on the card is going to be in a pretty decent area. Um, again, with the play styles that he has, he doesn't have any pay passing play styles. So passing play styles would have been a W for sure, but he has none of it. Um, dribbling on the card is in a pretty good spot, to be honest, right? Reactions and composures in a good spot. Defensive stats is basically perfect, except for defensive awareness. But I mean, he's a medium high work credit card or low high work credit card, excuse me. So yeah. Physical stats all in the 90s, so it should be an interesting one to try out. So, yeah, we'll just be using him in the midfield setup, trying him out defensively. We'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. All right, so we're just going to go into it uh, like this, and we'll see how he plays, man. I have to review an attacker at the same time, because you have to play, like, somewhat serious, you know, to tr test him out in the defense. Oh, let's go Makalele. Oh, he does a flick from using the L trigger before. Nice. First to it. That's good. Oh, the emphasis, man. I have to get used to it. It's just after the patch, it's way, you know, gotta be, it's got to be way different now. Gotta hold on even longer. Oh, Makalele. That's the ball off. Nice. Nice. We'll take that. First two of Makalele, good stuff. You see what I'm saying? I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Quick step working with a bruiser, it makes you really aggressive in those pushes into people. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Look at when you use the advanced defending. It actually it activates the quick step. So if you're doing that with a bruiser, like it's kind of crazy.
There we go. Good stuff. Oh, first to it, first to it. Side-footed animation. <laughs> Side-footed animation. Oh, Makalele. AI. Look at this guy cook, huh? Look at this guy go, bro. He's just, he's just cooking, bro. Go, Makalele. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, first of all, that wasn't a skill move I did. I did a roulette. If, I, if he did the roulette, I probably would have scored that. Oh, if that first touch wasn't so bad, would have been a good pass. Beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Good first time lob. But I had the angle there. Oh, you beat him, but then I deal with the other guy, you know? Does well there. No way. Almost, almost. Oh, no way. That's what I wanted to do before. You take the touch, he has the weak foot for it, he could score those. Oh, uh, give me that. There you go. Nice. That was a good, that was a good pass with the weak foot there. To build up the play. It was solid. Good job, Mac. Fernandez. Towards Macalele. Nice does a sharp touch under pressure, that's good. Yeah, so this one's just a defensive play with Makalele. So we're attacking, we're attacking, we lose possession of the ball. Positioning-wise, he makes the pass, Makalele intercepts. Over here, I think Makalele actually ends up getting the ball here, yeah. From a little physical engagement, gets the interception right afterwards. Yeah, that's the finesse shot one. So we do the skill move to kind of open up the space to get into that finesse shot angle. Has the play style, so we're able to score it. Uh, the the power header, I'm probably not going to be able to utilize as much because power header and aerial, I think aerial is like a really, really important thing to have. Um, I'll maybe get some headers with him, but it just depends. He has to be kind of like by himself for that to really work out, right? Makalele gets the ball there from the interception as well.
trying to get the ball there with Makalele. I couldn't do it though. There you go. See, that's me doing the advanced defending to block that area there. Okay, Bellerin. All right, my dude. I see you. I see you, my guy. See, that's using the advanced defending there with Makalele again. That was nice. That was nice. Good job, guys. So Makalele? No, give me the ball. Nice little driven pass there. Nice Makalele. Advanced defending doesn't do anything there, eh? It's a little weird. Nothing AI-wise there. Nothing there as well. Oi! Ah. Uh. There you go, advanced works there. No way, man. Good first time pass, too. I'll take that. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh man, I even blocked that area well to do that. Yeah, first two at AI wise. to it again AI wise no there you go To it again. So good. That's one way to get through. That is one way to get through. I'll take it though. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Makalele card. Okay, so let's talk about a few things that we do have to mention, all right? So for me, when it comes to this Makalele card, he is the type of player, right, that when it comes to defending in your squad, 
you kind of just let him do his thing. I don't think he does his thing as much to the extent as, as Conte. Like Conte, I don't know if it's the Relentless Plus or something. Um, not sure if it's the same after the patch, but like Conte is like really, really all over the pitch. But it's, it's probably because of that Relentless Plus, like really, really doing that for him, right? With Makalele, what you notice with this card, right, is that when it comes down to applying pressure, right, Quick step works with the bruiser, right? So when you are using advanced defending, let's say you want to cut out a certain area really quickly, using the advanced defending, tapping the X button to get into those positions quickly, transitioning wise, he's going to do really well manually, right? When you're using him, he's going to do it really, really well. Now, for me in particular, when it comes to players that play in that specific position, all right? In my opinion, I still prefer to use the players that have more of a physical presence in the midfield, okay? Another thing to mention, right, is that I was using this card twice next to Bruno Fernandes, right? And you guys know, when I did the review for this Bruno Fernandes, I mentioned to you guys that on a shadow chemistry style, this guy's only fault is manual running, right? Because of the 93-88 split. But what else did I tell you guys? He is amazing at everything else. So what does that mean? He's amazing at shooting, he's amazing at passing, he's amazing at dribbling, defending, and physicality as a midfielder, right? It was just the manual pace, but it doesn't matter. The manual pace is this game's AI based anyways. In my opinion, I would rather use this guy in the CDM position over the Makalele, right? I don't know what it is with Bruno Fernandes, but EA did the, the special sauce thing to him, okay? Because this card, Having intercept and anticipate, it's so like insanely noticeable in game. Like his positioning on the pitch is insane. Like, guys, I have seen many players that have used very meta teams that use this guy as the defensive oriented midfielder because he can play either way. Because, guys, listen, for the meta of the game right now, guys, it's not super ideal to only focus on a main defensive player guys you guys know i love true many but even i had to stop using true many at some point because you need players at this point that are both good at attacking and defending and bruno fernandez i'm gonna be honest is probably the best example of that because this guy has crazy passing capabilities as well and in so many key situations it's incredible to work with, right? And it's a card that even if you keep on stay back while attacking, like imagine this guy can still do the ball roll Trivellas. He can still defend as well as the attack. And it's still the same after the patch. I've used this card for nine games, 10 games next to this Makalele. And I still feel it with Bruno. Bruno is just, he's really, really insane. So with Makalele, guys, it's a type of card, as I mentioned, that when you are manually defending with him with the Quick Step Plus and the Bruiser Plus, He's really good at doing that type of stuff. And defensive AI-wise, he does find himself in situations where it's underrated, where, you know, someone passes the ball and he's just well-positioned most of the times, right? This is just the card that you keep. Stay back while attacking cover center. Let his AI do the thing for the most part, right? But I will say that at this point in the game, guys, like even this as an example, right? Yasuo Kimmich, this card right here. You guys know that when I did the review, I'm like, guys, he has the right base mechanics. Like, if you were to use this card as your CDM, even though he's not um, a low, high work rate player, it's just more ideal to use these types of players at this point. Cards that can pass the ball and transition forward and still defend really well because he has great defensive animations. They're just going to be more ideal in the middle of the gameplay, right? Is Makalele still going to be decent to do? Sure. I think that SBC is pretty cool. You know, five-star weak foot working with that Bruiser Plus and Quick Step to do those defensive plays is definitely very, very solid. I, I'm not saying this card is garbage. It's not garbage. I'm just telling you that meta-wise, the cards like Bruno and Kimmich, they just they just hit right now, right? And, the, and it's important to have those types of cards, especially right now after the patch. Players that can dribble and transition out of the attack after those defensive plays is also a very important thing to mention as well. But guys... I got I got to say it man this guy this guy uh if you did like the evolution specifically like bro if they do a promo card for this guy it's he has a weak foot uh peak Wh what's the playstyle jockey plus now nah, there's one that has like intercept plus that one is really crazy i think it's the pitch commander this guy is the definition of someone that has the base mechanics he just does right he has the base mechanics because they gave him all the playstyles to work with at first and he's just that guy, bro. Like if he re if he's released as a as a promo card, you know what I'm saying? If he's released as a promo card, GG's my friend, okay? But that's all I gotta say for Makalele, guys. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.